Hey guys, today we have a tutorial on Stripe Connect OAuth. So what this allows you to do is connect account that is already uh, set up by someone else. So for example, so instead of the user creating new Stripe Connect accounts to your platform, you can utilize what they have already existing, connect that account to your platform. So based on the documentation, what you need to do is basically make a visit to this website uh, by the user and then com and the user will need to complete a set of steps that basically uh, authorizes their account to be accessed by you. Once they've completed this ste this, these step of steps, um, Stripe will pass back an authorization code. Um, this authorization code will allow you to make an API call to ultimately grab the information of the user's Stripe account. For example, the Stripe ID. So how do we set this up in Flutterflow? Very basic, we just have a Stripe OAuth button here. In the back end, I'm just gonna quickly create, maybe I'll just create a Stripe OAuth ID here to show you that it will get populated. So very quickly, I will just add a text field here, um, set it to the users, Stripe OAuth ID and default value will be no value. Following the documentation, what we need to do here is for this URL, we need to visit this URL. So what basically this URL, how this URL works is basically it's telling Stripe to, you know, OAuth authorization. Response type is a code because you want a reply from Stripe with the authorization code. A client ID is basically your platform's client ID, which I'll show you how to get. Your scope is read write and a redirect URL if you want to use a redirect URL specifically. What we can also pass is actually this value called state, which is important because it allows us to pass a document ID where we'll be passing the user's document ID because this will basically pass back to us um, from Stripe, allowing us to figure out which user has just finished their OAuth and these OAuth um, reply values is linked to which user. So to grab your platform client ID, you need to go to settings, connect, onboarding option, OAuth, and this is your client ID. So it goes Stripe, OAuth, client ID as this, read, write scope, and the state is a value I wanna pass back, want them to pass back. And you can see here, this is what gets shown. And this looks like a typical OAuth for Stripe. And then I'm just gonna say, skip this step to show you how it works if I manually go to this website. So you can see here that now Stripe has passed back by the URL, a set of a unique code, which is basically telling you here, the instruction, take this code from this URL and make a post request. After you make this post request, Stripe will basically pass back a set of values here regarding the OAuth user. Uh, so the response will be like Stripe ID, live mode, token type, etc., etc. So we need to configure this button first. So basically it's launch URL. Let's use the Flutterflow built-in launch URL. And what we need to do is basically pass the same URL we used previously with your client ID. And then at the end, and state equals to the user's document ID. So this basically allows us to pass to Stripe. Uh, this user is basically going through the OAuth flow. Okay, now that's loaded, let's see if this button works. Perfect. It loads the Stripe OAuth screen. And you can see here, this is the exact screen we saw previously when we manually entered the link, except the state is now the user ID of the logged in user. Now, the question is, how do we do this part? Now, this part requires a bit of cloud function work where we are receiving, well, where we will tell Stripe to send this code to pass this URL to a cloud function link. And this cloud function will basically take this code and make the post API call to grab the information. So this is the set of cloud function code I've written up for Stripe OAuth. 
So what basically we we'll need to do is redirect that get URL from Stripe to this cloud function. And what the set of code does is basically we'll receive that URL from Stripe. And if there's a problem, we'll redirect it back to our app. Um, of course, put in your client secret and the URL we need to connect to um, is connect.stripe.com slash OF slash token. What we're doing is basically making a post request per Stripe's instruction here to grab the information of the uh, Stripe account. And then I've also, basically we are waiting for a response from Stripe and then we will basically use the state here, the state, which is a document ID to grab the user's document and then subsequently update the user's document Stripe O of ID based on what data Stripe has provided basically from Stripe's response. And then after that's done, we will redirect the user back to our um, app. And this is just a very sample app from Flutterflow. Now that the cloud function is deployed, we need to get the URL of this cloud function. So basically you go to the console.cloud.com and then you copy this URL on the trigger. So this is basically my app slash OAuth. And then you go back to Stripe OAuth setting. And then in the add URI section, you add the URI. So this is basically telling Stripe for users that have gone through the OAuth process, redirect them to this OAuth cloud function. Where, you know, as I said, when we walk through the code, it will, walk, uh, it will go through the step of the uh, code getting the detail of the user, updating the document, and then subsequently redirecting them back to our app. So let's see how this works in practice. Okay, let's test this. Let's press connect existing Stripe account. It launches the test mode. Let's connect an account. I'm gonna connect this existing account here. And then look at the redirecting back. You can see here, that an account ID has been provided. So you can see here, previously it was no value. Now OAuth is connected to the platform. So we can check, you know, if you go back to your connect, connected accounts, you can actually see here who has, who's been connected. And currently there's only one account that's been connected, which was the test account we just did. So you can see here, um, the connect account has been working. I hope this tutorial helped you understand Stripe OAuth Connect, uh, allowing you to connect existing accounts of the user to your platform. So this basically removes a lot of the hassle in users creating, needing to create new Stripe accounts for your platform, basically allows them to just sign in with an existing Stripe account. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.